Ever wondered how your phone unlocks with just your finger? Let's break down how a fingerprint sensor works, step by step. First, the sensor captures your fingerprint pattern. But how? That depends on the type of sensor. Optical sensor uses light. A small LED lights up your finger and a tiny camera captures the ridges and valleys. Capacitive sensor uses tiny capacitors to sense electrical differences between ridges, contact and valleys, air gaps. Ultrasonic sensor uses sound waves. It sends high-frequency signals that bounce off your finger. Ridges and valleys reflect differently, creating a three-dimensional map. Once the pattern is captured, the sensor turns it into digital data. The fingerprint image is converted into a binary map, where each ridge and valley becomes data. This image is enhanced, filtered and processed into a template, a unique mathematical representation. It doesn't store the actual image, just a secure hash of the pattern. When you scan your finger again, the process repeats and compares with the stored data. The new scan is compared point by point with the stored fingerprint template. If enough key features match, like minutia points, ridge endings, bifurcations, it's a match. If not, access denied. Modern fingerprint sensors are incredibly fast and secure. Matching happens in milliseconds thanks to embedded AI. Data is stored in a secure enclave or trusted execution environment, never shared or uploaded. Even if someone steals your phone, they can't reverse engineer your fingerprint. So, next time you unlock your phone, remember, a light, a chip, or a sound wave just confirmed your identity in under a second. Like this breakdown? Hit the like button and subscribe for more tech in plain English.